Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video I will demonstrate any desk remote client that will allow me to remotely con control Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Raspberry Pi and other devices. Any desk app is available for free to be downloaded from Google Play Store. So if you go to Google Play Store and search for any desk, you'll be presented with search results and one of them will be any desk remote control and you can install this for free. This app is free to use for personal use and the business users will have to pay certain amount per month for uh, be able to use it. So I already have that installed. So if I click open, it's gonna be open the, the basically this menu. On the right hand side, I have my ID number, which is always gonna be this number until I uninstall this program. So what that means that as soon as you install the app on the Android and you install software on the Windows, the both devices will receive unique ID number. This is like your serial number and please do not share this number with someone that you don't trust. Obviously, I'm just showing my number because as soon as I finish recording this video, I will uninstall the AnyDesk app from my device and when I install again, the ID number will be totally different and this number that you're seeing in front of me will be no more valid. So this is the ID number of this Android device. And on the right hand side, I need to enter the ID number of the Windows machine, which is always nine digits. So now let's jump to Windows computer and let's set up any desk on the Windows machine. So I am on a Windows computer and if I go to anydesk.com website, it opens up with the page as it is suggesting for me to download the free version for personal use or business to buy now. I'm gonna use for my personal use, so I will download the free free version. So if I click download, and it automatically opens up and it says, do you wanna download? But as, as you can see, I'm already have one downloaded. So instead I will just open up and run as an admin, accept the Windows prompt and it runs. The app will run without installation. What that means that uh, it's, it's basically it will be only 2.9 megabytes in size and it's going to run without install but if you want to connect your, your computer your windows your mac your linux your raspberry pi without um, connection prompt and what that means if i go to my uh, my dex and i'll try to make a connection inside the windows computer i will receive the prompt message saying are you allowing a connection and then i will have to click accept and then connection established but what if like in my case the windows machine that i'm using is in france and it's hundreds mi miles away from me i can just go there and accept the connection come back to my my home and then, then start controlling so i need to install any desk first so this is what this link is uh, will allow me to do the layout might change by the time you're watching so look somewhere on the main page the link where, with suggestion to install any desk so let's click install any desk it tells me where it's gonna be installed, what kind of things it's gonna do, install any desk printer, desktop icons. I don't really need any desk printer because I know nothing, no print is connected to this Windows machine. Keep any desk up to date, that's fine. And you'll click accept and install. So let's wait for installation to finish. It might be one or two Windows pop-ups showing up and you can accept them. Okay, no pop-ups, that's good. So right now any desk is installed and running permanently on my Windows machine. In the menu on the top right hand corner, if I go to menu settings and under security, I can tick enable unintended access and create a password, which I will need to punch in every time I wanna connect to this machine without accept, without basically this machine can be without a monitor and keyboard and a mouse. There's just a computer in the corner running. Now I will be able to connect to this device without prompts. So now let's go back to DEX and connect to this Windows machine directly. Before we go to DEX, first of all, please make a note of this ID number. This ID number is auto-generated as soon as the app is installed. So this, app, this ID number will be always with you until you uninstall this software from the Windows machine. So please do not share this ID number with anyone, otherwise they will be able to keep pinging you with the connection requests. I don't mind to show this number to you guys because as soon as I'm finished recording the video, this app will be uninstalled of shadow of my shadow cloud computer of this Windows machine. 
and no one in this number will be basically invalid. So let's go to DEX and connect to this machine remotely. So we're back to DEX and now I need to punch in this ID number of the remote Windows machine. And the ID number was 464269763. And if I click connect, it's going to ask me to enter my unintended password, which I created on the Windows side. So let me punch the password in. And now I have an option, login automatically from now on. This means I just punch the password once and even with the password, if I take this, it's every time I will connect to this machine without any problems. That is might be secure, might be unsecure. It's up to you which one you want to use it. I leave this unticked because I, I'm gonna punch. I would like to punch in the password every time I'm making a connection. So now I click OK, and hopefully my password that I entered is correct. The password is correct, and I am right now remotely connected to a Windows machine. So let's minimize all this and let's go to a desktop. As you can see at the bottom, I have a Dex toolbar and one above is the Windows 10 toolbar. So now I remotely connected to Windows machine and I can remotely control and update programs and etc. As you can see from the wallpaper, the graphics is not that great, but you can do a minimal job if you require. On the right hand side, there is an option for more menus here. From the top uh, going down, it's a settings. If I click on that, it jumps straight away to settings where I can choose input, display, and audio uh, settings. Next is how I want the mouse to work. Do I want a mouse work as a click? Right now, it's basically as a click. So if I click once, it's going to select. If I click on this one, it's going to select this icon. Then the next option is a trackpad. That means that there is a, a Windows mouse here, and then it it's can be controlled by just clicking with the Android mouse and holding and dragging across the screen. This way, I don't really like it, so we're gonna go back to a mouse option. Next one is the monitors. So if you have more than one monitor connected to Windows machine, you will be able to pick up, choose which monitor you wanna connect. As example, at home I have two monitors connected to my PC. So I have two options. Do I wanna see monitor one or monitor two? And this option is allows me to go with any desk app full screen. Next option is the shortcuts. So control delete, go to taskbar. This is basically uh, upload, download, and take a screenshot. And the X is disconnect. As soon as you establish the first connection successfully, below all these two uh, options, you will have the thumbnail of the computer wallpaper that what you connected just now. If I click on this, I can say drop to desktop. That I believe should create a should create a shortcut on here, but sadly, I don't think that's working. Next one is the remove, rename, and ID number. So if I can, I can rename this to my, my PC name. Click OK. So right now, every time I double click, I'm gonna punch the password. Click OK and remotely connect to this machine. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.